Hello, welcome in this SAP video tutorial. This is very important topic. I have already made uh, tutorials on this topic, but I am just revised, going to revise this topic because electricity expense is very important expense for any company. Okay. To proper posting of the electricity bill in SAP and monitoring the if a wrong bills are not supplied by the distribution company or uh, property payment of the bill tracking of the bill is very important so in sap you should track your uh, respective bill um, it's paid or not paid consumption of unit in which month or consumption of uh, unit in uh, current month okay in last six months so how can you track those things so there is a transaction code zfi 030 underscore er you, you have to fill the posting date for during which period you want to analyze the bill electricity bill okay a business area or plant code if you have a consumer number then fill consumer number or if you don't have fill if you don't want to fill consumer number or you don't have consumer number then fill star okay so we are going to execute this transaction code here zfi 030 underscore er fine this is the electricity expense report you have to fill the company code 1100 business area code okay so in my case the business area code is 17022 fine and posting period i am just want to get the record of uh, the electricity expense record from 1st January 2021 to 1st January 2021 to 31st March 2021 fine if you have consumer number then you can fill from here for example I have a consumer number we okay I've just filled this consumer number here okay fine and I'm just click on the multiple selection okay and just want to select these number from here these are the few consumer numbers okay and just here upload from the clipboard you can upload here from the clipboard from directly from the Microsoft Excel okay if you have indivisible details like few four things you can directly copy from here you can copy of years okay so I'm just uploading the data data is uploaded uploaded successfully here and click on the copy okay fine I'm just want to execute the going to execute this report fine one more thing just want to include uh, fill posting uh, fill company code company code posting date plan code fine these things company code business area code and the consumer number is a mandatory field okay so you can also fill the meter number details here you can also fill the vendor wise expense report if you have a vendor code okay just going to execute okay see during this period only this vendor code's data is here okay fine I'm just want to get the record from 1 4 2021 to 2209 fine see we got the detailed report here fine and uh, my main objective is to get the data uh, in the detailed manner so I'm just going here and short the sort in the descending order or ascending order I'm just sorting in the descending order fine I'm sorting 
these things in the descending order. Fine. C. For this meter number, for this meter number, we have uh, two bill that is the in month of January, in month of March. In month of January, the bill amount is twenty thousand. In month of March, bill amount is thirty eight thousand. So you have to analyze these bill. Why the amount is first month is come this and in the next month is this. Maybe uh, the payment is not made. Maybe any other mistake. Maybe the concern person is, po is posting wrong bill. Fine. Any possibilities. For example, this bill. For example, this bill. If uh, in the month of January bill amount is then in month of uh, March bill amount is this in month so for the same consumer number for the same consumer number the in the March again posting date is two one seven seven five eight so you have to analyze these things fine so I'm just going to extract this report okay you can click he, click here from this okay for example, if you just want to analyze the data uh, of the bill, which is more than one lakh, so one lakh to one lakh to ten lakh. Okay, so uh, nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, I have put the range here. Okay. So system has generated the bill of all the reports, which are more than one lakh per month. Fine. Okay. So this is the company code. This is the business area. This is the consumer number. This is the meter number. Okay. And this is the vendor code means concern SDO of the electricity distribution company. Okay. Or XCN of the distribution company. This is the year. This is the posting date. This is the bill date. This is the due date. This is the net amount. This is the bill number. Reading from to reading which. You can ask to consent person that why you have uh, filled the wrong reading. Because uh, the bill amount is this and the reading from this amount to this amount is for this. A unit consumption is nil. Unit consumption is one. So you can ask to consent person. Fine. So again you can apply the reports. Okay. Zero. Fine. You can extract the data from here. Export in the spreadsheet. Twenty two zero nine. E report. Fine. I'm just going to save the data in Excel. You can allow. system is taking time to generate the report this uh, file is in the dot mstml format okay dot mstml format so you can open this file okay save this file save as this file in dot excel fine so for analyze purpose you can apply the column here okay fine see uh, this is the unit of measurement meter constant net consumption tax amount surcharge if any tax is there then you have to fill here if any surcharge is there you have to fill here total amount is there once you post the document in 
once you post the document in SAP, once you post any electricity bill, then 19 document is generated. 19 document will approved by the concern approver authority. Then it sent to CSC for centralized payment. Fine. This is the payment date for which at which date the payment is made with respect to this electricity number. This is the assignment code. Okay. And uh, this is the payment clearing documents. See, you have to identify the document which are start from 17. I repeat again, the document which start from 17 is reversal document. Means concerned person or concerned account officer has reversed the bill. Reversed this bill for due to any mistake or any reason. The document number which start from 20 is for which the payment has successfully made to concern electricity bill department electricity department okay 17 is for 17 is for reversal 20 is for payment and against those bill the no payment clearing document is generated for which payment is still pending Okay, so you have to understand these things, three things. I repeat again, the document which start from 17 against those bill, not paid, a reversal. Document start, payment clearing document start from 20 is for uh, payment successfully paid to the electricity department. And against those bill, this payment clearing document is blank, then payment yet not to pay. Okay. How can you identify? You need to apply the short here. Go in the data, apply the short, continue with section, payment clearing documents, shorts, J to A. Fine. All the payment clearing documents till here. Till that electricity bills payment has successfully made to the electricity department. From here to there, from these uh, electricity bill, these red indicators, these bills are successfully reversed. Okay, and for these one, two, three, four, five, for these five bills. For these five bills, for these five one nine, with respect to these five one nine documents, payment has not made till date, as per the SAP regard. So you can analyze the data and uh, uh, coordinate with the concerned section in charge or concerned meter in charge of the respective area. Okay. Hope you understand this video. Okay. Document start from document posted one nine documents one nine start from document posted fine bill reverse so pay oblique clearing document start from 17 if bill paid to electricity department payment clearing documents start from 20 if bill unpaid then payment clearing document column start from blank okay so you can analyze these things okay once we post Electricity bill in SAP document generate one nine. 
once uh, competent authority will approve the one line document the uh, all the document goes to centralized settlement cell that is csc cell and csc cell will pay made centralized payment to the electricity department once bill reversed by the ao concern then payment in the column of the payment clearing document start from 17 document generated once will paid payment clearing document start from 20 if bill still not paid till date the payment clearing document start from blank hope you understand this video hope you like this video it's it is useful for you who is uh, frequently working in this area please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends okay if you are new in our youtube channel erp sap team please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for my latest video updates thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye see you in the next video